provocative lingerie. Hope he paid for it. <laughs> you understand? Or well, we want him to order like he orders for food. No. If he's trying to do unnatural things that are not written in the scripture. You know, I've seen Christian women sometimes that say, oh, because he can't go to anyone else, he's stuck with me. No. Hi, my name is Zizi and welcome to Ask Pastor Vic. This is a show where Pastor Vic answers all your questions about biblical womanhood, marriage, and Christianity. If you haven't already, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss an episode. Now, for today's question. Andrea from Ireland asks, my husband wants me to wear provocative lingerie, but I feel like a prostitute, a prostitute when I do. How do I overcome this? Oh, Andrea, thank you for asking that question. Now, we all know the Word of God says marriage is honorable in all, the bed undefiled. Why I'm reading, you know, saying that scripture is to let you know that marriage is beautiful. Sleeping with your husband is allowed within the confines of your, of your marriage. So there's no reason to feel like a prostitute. You are not a prostitute. You are a honorable child of the living God. And the Bible says God is not ashamed of this. So in any way you feel ashamed, we need to deal with that. Provocative lingerie. Hope he paid for it. <laughs> Now, there's something I want you to know. I don't know if you've ever heard this. Men are moved by the power, you know, sight, sound, and smell. So there's a way you can set up your home such that your husband, you know, finds it pleasurable to approach you, to tell you sweet words, and to keep chasing you. Won't you love that? You understand? Or we want him to order like he orders for food. No. You know, our, our home should be filled with love, with laughter, and the man should feel free. Because according to the word of God, you should be the only person he should be able to ask. So you need, like if you go into a restaurant, they have no table cover, they have no cutlery, how would you feel? Probably you won't order food from there. So for us as women as well, we are telling him no other, just us. So try your best to do whatever you can. Provocative lingerie is not a big deal, really. However, I don't know what type he brought. If he's trying to do unnatural things that are not written in the scripture, I am not supporting that. But making the place clean, making it attractive, making it smell nice is not a big deal. Okay, now there's something I want also to say to you about this matter. Nobody should force you to do anything you don't want to do. You are a free child of the living God. If you're still not comfortable, you need to explain to him. But that brings me to another matter. You've been married for a while, haven't you? I'm sure you notice times that your husband is happy with you in that area. And you've heard him grumble about other things. Try to learn and, you know, study him. So if you were trying to say, for instance, I don't want to wear this, I still i am not comfortable, what are the other things you can do? Discuss with him and make sure that he loves you and he keeps enjoying being with you. Make sure it is not a pain. You know, I've seen Christian women sometimes that say, oh, because he can't go to anyone else, he's stuck with me. No, no, don't behave like that. Remember, when we honor God, God will honor us. When we obey God, we can pray about our home and God will intervene. Thank you for watching today's episode. Please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions for Pastor Vic, please use the website link on the screen now. All questions remain anonymous.